I am alive. Julie's alive too. Hey, Tom Creek with Creek Bank Creations. We are glad to be back. First event in May on live on the 24th, like we've been promising all month. We're glad to be here. We are Tom and Julie Creek of Creek Bank Creations. We uh, are from the land of tall corn and not much more in beautiful Perrysville, Indiana. We have our own line of dyes, stamps, adhesive pa- adhesives, pattern papers, and all kinds of other cool stuff. We are purveyors of paper arts goodness, all waiting here just for you. Log on there, say hello. We can't wait to get started with you uh, crafters and tell you, you what's got, up. We got Sharon here. We got who? Sharon. Hi, Sharon. A uh, little, little heads up information. We are going to be in Orlando at Expo, uh, Scrapbook Expo. That's going to be uh, coming up next week, June 3rd and 4th. That's a, a uh, Friday, Saturday show in Orlando, Florida. Uh, can't wait to see you there. And from there, the following week, we go to beautiful Arlington, Texas, the Longhorn State. We're going to be down there uh, June 10th and 11th, Friday and Saturday. Um, if in a minute, I'm going to try to find some tickets to the expo that I'll give away tonight, uh, that are, that is good, not just for the expo, um, in Florida, but good at any expo anywhere in the country, any year. Mr. So Creek, if you can't do it this year, you can do it do next that year. when you're running alive? I'm going to escape no, while you're in the, no, you're not, Mrs. No. Creek, while you're in the depths of the process of the card making. I was going to escape and go to where I think they're located, but I'm not sure. Somebody cleaned up my my I area. I did not. She see, says it's she cleaned not, up my mess, but she cleaned up my area. area. And my organizational method is different than Mrs. Creek's, and as a result, yeah. sometimes I can't find things. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Yeah. But we got a, we're gonna have a great. Uh, Lois is in the feed. Hey, Lois, how are you? We owe Lois big time. Lo- oh, Lois. Last week she Lois, thank you home. so much. Last week, we were all stressed out. We were getting ready for a show in, um, where were we last week, Mrs. Green? Oh, York. we were in New, New York. State we were in Auburn, York. New York. By the way, We've hello to all, Carmen, all of our friends in Auburn, Carmen's New York. In the feed. What? Carmen's in the feed. Hey, Carmen, how are you? I, I know Is it's kind of hard else? to believe that we can't remember where we were from week to week, <laughs> but believe it or not, we travel so much we that sometimes we get caught up in the... In the um, we don't know where we're in the at. excitement, shall I say, the excitement, yes. Tonight, we are going to do some really cool stuff with the donut paper, the donut stamp, the donut die, the new... We're not using that. We're not using this, but I'm going to show you. This is the new Baines and Stain. You can talk about it. This is the Baines and Stain uh, stencil. There's the copy Maybe I'll have there. cards next week. Uh, are you going to do anything with this one? I, I'm not making any promises. That's our new copy stamp. Not making any promises. It, says, it will be used in Copy class. is a pleasure. Good friends are a treasure. Diane if that resembles you, there. you need this stamp. Colorado. Uh, the mini scallop rectangle. Are you going to do anything with that tonight? Yes. Yes, yes. She, she says yes. yes. And the pop twist die, which is a blast, and it's easy to do. And it's like I always say at the shows, crafters, if Tom can do it, anybody can Wait do it. Wait a minute. Did yes. you make that card? Mrs. Creek, I want to tell you, I did not make <laughs> this card, but I have made variety of cards yes. using the pop twist die. You <laughs> yes, I have. I have spent hours at the demo oh, table showing yes. crafters from yes. all over the United you States how to use the pop twist die, Mrs. Creek. I'll and give now you that one. I feel yes. like you're. I, oh, and don't forget the donut paper pad. You Why should don't you open that donut paper pad. I think I'll just open it right now. Show them. And I'm going to show you what's in the donut. Of the fifth, right? The fifth of that. There's 24. That's right. 24 pages of paper crafting bliss right here. So look, let's look at that. Okay. You see that right there? Oh, how about an ooh? How many of each one? Know. There's four of each one of those four puppies. Of yes. There's one with just sprinkles. Can you say sprinkles? And Mr. Creek, did. did you design those so that you could also make baby cards out of oh, them? Oh, absolutely I did, Mrs. Creek. I spent <laughs> hours at the design table. Sweating. Oh, I was sweating. Came in, I was out burning brush again. I was sweating like a pig. I came in there. It was almost midnight. I remember it well. And I said, honey, I got a hankering for Krispy Kreme. I said, as a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to make some donut paper. Because <laughs> right? it's fewer calories. And you know what? She's... Show, the <laughs> okay. show the back. Show the back. Show the back. There you go. Show them the pink and the blue. The pink. There's some nice paper. 
The pink and the blue. That's pink. Is that yeah, not pink? There's a blue. There's a the blue. There you go. But like nice baby blue, baby for blue. The babies. The babies. So can you, you say need babies? To make the baby cards. And there's four sheets of each, right? There's four sheets of each. Yes. Yes. A lot of cool stuff in there, crafters. So check it out. There's some birthday party paper. Celebrate good times. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's what's inside that. Uh, what else we got to share? Oh, I'm going to give away some rubber stamps tonight. I've got some uh, three before rubber stamps. Just got a big shipment in. They're a fall stamp. There are, um, what is it? Happy, throw that to me. Will you Autumn speak? greetings. Awesome greetings. Thanks Here, I'll show it to you. Autumn greetings. And thank you for, oh. No. Judy wants Boo. to know what I fed you tonight. Who did? Up. Who did? Judy Bretz. Judy? Judy, I'm always like this. You know that. Golly, Judy, come on. You know me better than that. Uh, in fact, uh, it was an improvised dinner tonight because you know why we were doing the live. But ladies, crafters, it's good to hear from hear from all of you. Uh, and don't forget to come and see us uh, next week in Orlando. Somewhere, wherever we're at. Somewhere. Somewhere. Wherever Somewhere. Wherever Are you ready at. to go, Mrs. Craig? Oh, should I show them this card? This no. Side. That's my job. I can't show them that. No, that's my favorite. No way. Card. That's my favorite. Card. That's 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 that's, that's the fun part. One. All right, with that, I'm gonna let Mrs. Creek take over. Without any further ado, here is Julie Creek. There you go. <clears throat> Greetings, crafters. So excited to um, be with you tonight to um, do the donut thing. I love donuts. It's a problem to be able to <laughs> So I, we're going to work on the Pop Twist donut card tonight. And I do have a Pinterest page that has other donut cards that I have made. I wanted to try to get them all in here, but they're in the booth. And um, we did not unload the trailer, so I did not have access to them. I did, ha I did have this one to share with you. This is the... Um, spin to win card base with the um the base and then it's got the donut spinner on it okay so if you are fortunate enough to own the spin to win you can adapt it and make it into a spinning donut card so i cut the donut out of the paper the pattern paper and then added the little sprinkles so i know a lot of you already own spin to win Spin to Win is a discontinued SKU, so is no longer available. We do have, did we sell out of Spin to Win in New York? Yes. We have. No, no, we sold out in, in he, Detroit. He answered, and he didn't even know the answer to the question. I saw the look on his face. No, we sold um, out in, the, I think it was in Detroit City. The stamps? Last night I went to sleep in Detroit City. We might have a few stamps left on the clearance, but we don't have any more dies. But I know a lot of you own that, and I just thought this was a really cool, fun card. I and another way to home. use the, <clears throat> the donut stamp. So I wanted to share with you, last week I heard, um, I was listening to... Hey, ask him to give us a thumbs up, please. Tom, sorry, there's something else. Tom's asking for a thumbs up. So if you can share um, the video, gives us give us a thumbs up. That greatly helps us. And what I started to say was, I was listening to Dutch Sheets. He does a video every day called Give Him 15 on YouTube. And um, <clears throat> he had a guest speaker. It's like a, like a Bible study. And um, they were talking about breakthrough. About 2022 is the year of the breakthrough. And I just felt like the Lord said to me so strongly, <clears throat> breakthrough means that you're moving through. You know, when you go through a difficult time, the lie that you start believing is that it's always going to be that way. It's never going to get any better. And then you start this vicious downward cycle in your brain about life and your situation. And breakthrough means I'm not staying here. I'm moving through. I'm breaking through. I'm breaking through. Crashing so through. through means you're moving. You're going forward. So I just want to encourage you with that. I was so inspired by the racehorse. And I, are you into racehorsing? I am not. <clears throat> but I was so inspired by. I like to be. 
the um, Kentucky Derby racehorse. If you did not see this video, I encourage you to go out and look up the video from NBC Sports that shows the horse race strike running. Rich at, strike. Rich. rich what did strike. I say? Race. You said race strike. Rich. 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 Ready for you to play Russian. I have Rich massive <laughs> sinus, Indiana. You know, the problem is when you're traveling to all these other places, you pick up all these different pollens, pollens and then so we've got, we've got my quite sinuses are quite a wreck. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> Rich, Rich Strike, Strike, Strike. Rich Strike. <laughs> Rich Strike from the Kentucky Derby. He is a nothing horse. He is the last horse. That anyone think what did the odds were 80 to 1 that he would win? And he got admitted to the race at the last minute because someone else scratched. So the night before, they started to pack their gear and they thought they were going home and that Rich Strike wasn't going to run. He had never run in the Kentucky Derby before. He I don't know that he'd ever won a race. Maybe he had won one race. So I just want to encourage you. Stay in the race. You can't win if you're not in the race. You got to keep going through, through. So you're not staying where you're at. You're going through. So this uh, is a great life lesson. And there is a spiritual principle here. <clears throat> I want to encourage you. I'm trying to find my scripture. With uh, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. So that is your encouragement for today. If you haven't watched the Rich Strike race Go look it up. If you're discouraged, go look it up and watch. And you'll see him all the way in the back, most of the race. And the announcer is announcing the race. And he doesn't even see Rich Strike until the very last minute. And Rich Strike wins the Kentucky Derby. He was, nobody thought he was going to win. So when everyone says, that you're down and out and that your situation is hopeless. And you can't do it. And you can't do it. Um, the Lord says, you can. I can do all things through, through Christ, Christ who gives me need. strength. That is your encouragement today. We are all staying in the race. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so any questions? Donut? No, ma'am, there's not any Okay, questions. so we're going to work on the Pop Twist Donut card tonight. Okay, pop twist, fun card. <clears throat> and then next week, I'm most excited about the uh, box of donut. And if you look at this, we're going, I'm going to teach you how to make this really thin box that actually sits right on top of the card. And then we are going to make the um, lovely donuts on the, on the card. Sharon, Yellow Rose has been, has, is the first winner, winner tonight. Winner, chicken dinner. Sharon, you've got your choice of autumn greeting stamps. I'm going to turn the camera down, so hang on. Sharon, you've got your Sharon. choice of autumn greeting stamps. Boo to, boo to you, round stamp. Autumn greetings around. Or oh, I cannot. a ticket to a scrapbook expo show of your choice. What would you like, Sharon? Not good. I can't see what um where'd your runner to go? <clears throat> there we go. Okay, the phone is going the wrong way. The ticket, yes, you got the ticket. Okay, I'm gonna turn on. it. Hmm. What's the matter? I don't remember. No, your 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 camera's not supposed to be like that. I'm supposed to, to go there. Okay, no, hang on. In, 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 in. I'm gonna turn it again. There you go. Sorry, guys. I have been there you go. shooting. Except for now, you're upside down. <laughs> turn, uh, turn it turn it 360 degrees. Mm, I don't think so. Down. Oh no, you're not upside down. Excuse I me. don't think so. All right, you're fine. Excuse Sorry, me. guys. Mercy, I have been shooting. Uh, live video. I'm going to try to get that black out of the picture. Um, I've been shooting live, and so all the parameters are different. If you haven't been, um, what are you doing? No, no, no. I don't, that'll just, 
confuse everything. There we go. Um, would you turn that off? Yes. Um, You're looking good. You're right on the money, honey. So we have been, we have to film and do everything in a different way. Sorry for all the shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Now, we're live tonight, Tuesday, the 24th, the 24th of May, and there we go. This does not seem right. Diane Morris, can you tell me? Yes, you're right on. Am I, am I good? Yes, you're very good. Okay. I'm very, look, did you hear that? The man said I was very good. We will be live next Weekend, I've lost no, my stream. Weekend today, the 31st. I'm sorry. This is yes. the 24th. We'll be live I thought it was 31st. the 30th. No, man, the 31st, seven days from now, will be the 31st. Okay. And then we are taking... So Ask Lois back. She knows. Lois, Lois is my scheduler, thank God. Um, <laughs> um, we will be... Hold it. No, it'll be the 30th. That's what I thought. You're messing me up. <laughs> Whatever next Tuesday is... Next Tuesday is the 31st. It's the 31st, okay? Yeah. And then we are going to take... That's because you have the dates wrong here. You no, that's, honey, that's for August. Oh, That's yeah. August. Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah. as I was saying... The 24th and the 31st. Oh, my gosh, this is kind of like a schizophrenic episode. <laughs> <laughs> we, will, we will be live next Tuesday making the donut card. It's the 31st. And then we will not be live again until the last two Tuesdays in August. That's August, August 23rd, 23rd and 30th. 30th. Okay. So we are going to be on the road um, and doing live and traveling is mm, very, very stressful. So um, that's where we're at. Thank you guys for telling me how that looks. Okay. So when you make a pop twist card, this die has been sized to fit an A2 card, and we are using an A2 card base tonight, which um, we're just going to use a white base to start with. Um, you could certainly adapt and do it in a different size card, but we're going to use white tonight. So we have the lovely white background, and I do not have my grid up here tonight. I usually work on a grid. You are, want one? are you guys a yes or a no on the grid? You your grid? Let's see what they say. Yes or no on the grid? Yes, grid. Hope is excited about Arlington. There we go. Trying to get that black out of there. Yes, on the grid. Yes, on the grid. Okay, Thomas. Okay. Edwin. Got it. It's right here. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been shooting mini album and I have not been using. We're still on the air. Yes, on the grid. <laughs> oh Maybe we ought to take the <sighs> studio back the way we had it. Next time. Well, in between traveling and all the, you know, craziness. Okay, so we're going to start with our A2 card, and we are going to build this card front. Now, we are using the mini scalloped edge die on mm -hmm. this, and the mini scalloped edge came out last fall in the rush of us doing shows. And so we haven't really talked about it. It is size to stack right along with our stitched rectangle dies. And there are just some really pretty shapes in there. So we're gonna cut the background paper out of that pink polka dot and cut that with that mini scalloped edge. And that's going in the background and then we are going to cut the donut paper with another mini scallop and stack that up. That's pretty easy. We are going to adhere everything. Now, I did, when I designed the donut paper pad, I put the pinks and the blues in there. So if you buy the paper pad, you do have papers to work with to make the baby cards. And we do have a new line that we released this year called Hello Little One. And these papers work really well with it to make baby cards. Got the flying airplane in that set and the clothes. You know what, Tom, why don't you go grab that? What? Hello Little One. The, the stamp, the stamp. stamp. Yeah, the stamp. 
Okay, we're just gonna adhere this to the back. I'm just using our quarter inch super tacky tape. I know y'all are with me so far. Got the pick tool going here. You know, I'm sad to say <clears throat> that I have very brittle fingernails. They break off and I have been babying them for months and New York was disastrous on my fingernails. I broke, bent, snapped off fingernails. Okay, hello little one. <clears throat> Dotsie Trog is a winner, Julie. Dotsie Trog. <laughs> That's it. So this is Hello Little One, and you can see there's some really great images on there. You got the clothes. You can hang on the clothesline. And that little giraffe, you can actually put in the hot air balloon. So fun things you can do with it. So we're going to put our tape all the way around. Now, 15% off on the website tonight, or actually until... May 31st. That excludes the 12 by 12 paper collections. There we go. Now I have previously stamped my sentiment. Happy birthday. You do not, you do not look another year older. And we're going to put that there. But we are going to take the donut die and and I do apologize for my throat voice situation. It, uh, it my allergies are about to do me in. Okay, we're gonna cut, we're gonna take the six by eight sheets of foam. We sell this, this is the six by eight double-sided adhesive foam sheets. This is what the package looks like. There are six, six by eight sheets of that in there. And we are going to take our donut and we're gonna take that base die and we are going to cut our donut on that foam. Get my die out. So you can see I have a scrap here from another live event that we did. And we're just going to take that and we are going to put that right into the foam. So when I cut with the red liner foam, I just put my die right on top and I die cut. Now, Mr. Creek, mm -hmm. can you go get for me <laughs> the pop dot die? Uh, yes, Carmen asked, is there any code for the discount? And the code is DONUT. Can you get me the pop dot die? Okay, yeah. so we put that in, and I put my die right down into that red liner and run it through my die cut machine, and that will die cut for me. Now, the red liner is actually trash that we are going to throw away. Now, one of the fun things about this product is that you can take your Copic Spectrum Noir or Chameleon Marker and color the edge of the foam. So I have a, like it's a peach colored, a natural color, and I'm going to color the edge of my donut. Now, I have a yeast donut here regular yeast donut <laughs> so i am coloring this i, I like uh, glaze as if glaze. it is a yeah but is it is it yeast or chocolate i mean like what's your dough this is my dough this is like this is no not, i hate chocolate i know so that's why i'm saying you got to have this color of okay. yeah yeah because you don't like chocolate i don't either there we go are you do we have chocolate lovers if you're a chocolate lover then you can get your Get your dark brown out. But do you see how you can color that edge? And I like to do this before I assemble anything. Just go back over, and you might have to go over it a few times, especially with this light color, to get the color that you want. Now, I have my donut, and I have my scrap. And what I wanted to show you is uh, the pop dot die. So this is the pop dot die. And if you have your scraps, you can take the pop dot die and cut up your foam and die cut your own pop dots so you don't have any waste. And we're gonna take the top of our donut off and we are going to, hey, is Diane, did I see Diane, Diane Morris is in the feed tonight, right? I think so. Okay, I think she is. 
So Diane, if you're in the feed, you should stay till the end because we're gonna look at your album tonight. So yeah, yeah, I have yeah. cut this in a vanilla paper and then I have gone back with the top, with the icing. Okay, Diane. And uh, we're gonna put our donut together. So when I go to build these layers, I am going to, I have cut these with our super tacky tape on the back. So I can unroll my tape and put my paper in it and die cut. So they're both a sticker. Now I'm gonna peel this off. So this is sticky and my donut is sticky. So we're going to use our undo. It's gonna be a solvent that suspends adhesion. And that's just going to give me the opportunity to line that donut up you know, Mr. Creek, I think for this event, you should have gotten me donuts. I was wondering about pink, that. Actually, I was pink thinking a box. I should have opened up donuts. a box of Krispy Kreme. Mm, mm, mm. That would have been so good. I don't know where you would have got Krispy uh, Kreme. I have to drive... Uh, they don't they, even have... They, I don't know if they have them in Indianapolis anymore. I don't think they even have them in Indy anymore. Did you use Undo, did you? I did. I used Undo to line everything up. Questions about Undo? We're going to add We're going to add sprinkles. Get some sprinkles. Okay. So when you purchase the donut die, you are going to see the sprinkles stamp or die that's in that set. And this is what it looks like. So I like to take my paper, <laughs> unroll my paper. I'm going to roll my tape put my paper in it and run it through the die cut machine. And if you only run it through the die cut machine one time, one pass, then you can get your sprinkles to stay attached to this sheet. That gives you the ability to store them. Like I just die cut these and then I store them with my donut die. And then when I need them, I have them. So we're Think just about these donuts, they never go stale, do they? They yeah, they're calorie free. calorie free. Then I'm gonna take my pick tool and I can just pick up my little um, sprinkles and add them to my donut. Now this is a little bit intense and detailed, but I love the look of this and the fact that you can cut these in any color is super fun. Get my white ones. So we're just going to take our pick tool and transfer our sprinkles on there. Now we do have confetti that has sprinkles in it. And you could also glue the confetti on either way. But I prefer actually die cutting the sprinkles. Look at that. Look at, would you, would yum, you look at that. Yum. Would you just look at that. <clears throat> Baby, baby. So we're gonna cover him with sprinkles. And the great thing is he's dimensional because we've cut him with that foam. And then when we put him on the card, he's gonna have that dimensional donut look. <clears throat> now, when we loaded the trailer in New York, oh my goodness. You don't even want to know how many times I, I said to I turned, Tom before the live. Did you turn your phone off? Probably somebody who's watching. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so when we loaded the trailer in New York, I was nearly killed by a giant pod. Yeah, nearly killed. Oh, nearly, oh ne come on, <laughs> please. <laughs> so, Tom... There we go. Awesome. There's my donut. So Tom um, was working on the pods this week. And if Pods? What are pods? Pods are pods. The racks that we use Those to, racks. to rack our merchandise on that we roll into our trailer and roll off. Yes, of they're, they're what... We roll back into our trailer and roll back off of our trailer. And um, on, they have off. wheels, and the wheels were full of... What were they full of? They were hair? full of hair and fiber, the bearings were from several years of doing shows. Yes, so. Which means they didn't want to turn where there was They did not want to turn, and I was oh, oh. I was nearly killed. 
Runaway pod. Yes. Yes, Carmen. Again, in New York. Carmen. Yes. Carmen Harrington is the winner. Carmen, you won a, your choice of autumn greetings, <coughs> food to you stamp, or uh, a an expo um, ticket to any expo anywhere, anytime. So we're going to move to the inside while Carmen is picking her prize. Yes, it was, was it two years ago in New York that I ran over my foot? And it with was a pod. About three years ago, Miss Creek. And it was the most excruciating, painful experience I don't ever want to experience again, which may be why I went a little cray cray ballistic about the situation in New York with the pod. Because let me tell you, it it was not a good experience. Okay, now I have cut two more mini scallops for the inside of this card. Just adds a really nice pop of color. You do not have to put anything on the inside of this card. You could just go ahead and adhere the mechanism in there. But I really, this is all kind of um, light colored pastel. And um, I thought it needed a little more color. And I just love the look of this mini scallop. So we're going to tape both of those. And what did Carmen take? Uh, she took a stamp, but I don't know which stamp she wants. Ask her, would you? Carmen, which stamp would you like? You want to show her? Autumn greetings are boo to you. So these are the circle stamps that work really well with um, the spiral, spiral pop-up pop or the circle flip card. Those originally were designed for circle flip, Tom. Do you remember that? I do, back in the day. Back in the day. We're going to take off our liner. They saw you without your hat. Yeah, wasn't that, it great? That was, that was Ginger, terrible. wasn't that the best that he didn't have that crazy hat no, on? It just wasn't the same. It, it was it, the best. I didn't have to travel with that hat. <laughs> <laughs> that hat takes up a lot of room in the truck. He was rather distraught about his lack of hat. You know, um, the Auburn trip was an interesting trip, wasn't it? Yes, it there was, was all kinds of crazy things going on. Oh, you mean the hotel room or other? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Sharon, these uh, actually were designed for circle flip in the very beginning. And then, um, we, but we didn't have Autumn and Boo to You. Those didn't come out till last year because we added them when we used them in circle flip. Okay, there we go. We have our beautiful paper on the inside. I know that's kind of unusual, but it's a really nice look on the inside. Now we're going to take that pop twist die, and the pop twist die only has two pieces in it. That's right. Just two, two baby. Pieces. Two but baby. Those pieces are important, Mrs. Creek. One. Because without those two pieces, you can't get. You can't pop. Function. And you can't twist. No, you can't. It's a problem. And indeed, okay. you're popping or twisting. When and that. so I keep my die in the storage yes, envelope. Side, Judy, and the angel side circle. You pop twist. This is a storage envelope. And then when I get these out, I cut a few of them and just keep them already cut in white. That way, if I just need to grab them, I can. And you'll notice when I pulled this out of the pocket, there's a jig in my kit. So in my storage pocket, if I there's have... There's a jig in my kit, your Liza, your Liza. There's a jig in my kit. Yeah. Your Liza, a jig? A jig. Is that right? A jig. Jig. <clears throat> if there's a jig in my kit then I know that I'm giving myself a message. And this says, mark the center for an A2 card. So I have cut this piece of paper, 2.75 by 4.25. I put an arrow up here to mark the center. And what I'm telling myself is that when I use the pop twist, I need to mark the center point of the card. And this little orange jig, got off a little bit, is the center of an A2 card. So that is my little cheat sheet. Whenever I have a little cheat sheet, I call it a jig. I keep it in my kit. And then when I get my dies out, I know 
I have to mark the center point. So I am going to cut this odd shaped piece on white cardstock. <clears throat> and then I'm going to train the fold. So depending on what kind of card you're going to do, you want to think about um, what kind of what color you want to use back there. So you can decide if you want it to show or if you don't want it to show. Now after I have trained those folds, we're going to go all the way both directions really well. <clears throat> we're going to pick that up and put it in our fingers. And I have my two fingers on the outside. Oh, stop, stop. Move, move toward oh thank you. Yes. There we go. There, Can there we see that? Yes. Okay, good, because this is the important part. Thank you, Tom, You're for right. your helpful. That's one of the great things about having you here. <laughs> and this is Creek. You know, what you do is you want to fold it like a house, like the roof of a house is what I find. The easiest way to do this is Creek. Okay. In my, in my Can they hear you? experience with this card and demonstrating this card, if you fold it together as you are, now hold it and it looks like a house, the roof of a house. Holy cow, there it is. The roof of a house. Yes. Okay, this it's is like... like Mountains and valleys. Yes, Sharon. So we're going to take our fingers. We're going to push that down. And there we go. That is your mechanism. Holy cow. That, is just <clears throat> that was a really good, Tom. Thank you. So when we put it in the card, we are going to put adhesive on... How are we doing center rows? Thank you for telling me that. On the triangle here, on both sides. And I, I you don't need to mark it with a pencil. I'm marking it with the pencil so you can see what I'm talking about. Triangle. Okay. Now we're going to put adhesive on it. And you can use liquid or you can use tape. I will tell you, I usually make these cards with tape just because I think it's faster. But um, I have noticed the show cards, which get a lot of use. Um, I have to retape them. So if you're worried about it getting too much use then use liquid okay now we're going to take our tape off of both sides heavy cardstock you know sharon i cut this on a 65 pound cardstock and um that's a really good question when i tried to cut it on 100 pound cardstock tonight it um it wanted to break really bad so I went back to 65 pound, and I have always, honestly, ever cut this on 65 pound. You just want, you have to be careful because you don't want that score breaking instead of folding. And tonight, I had to mess around with my platforms because I had the precision plate on my machine, and it was breaking the paper. So I have this set in here, and I have that little point in the middle right in front of my dot and then I'm going to shut the card and that's going to open up and give me that mechanism. Any questions? Wow! As Sharon said, okay. Yellow rose sound okay, off. so we've got our, we've got our, show them with the donuts. I'm, 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 that's one step at a time, baby. Excuse I'm me. getting there. I'm getting there, baby. Um, we are going to add our decorative piece on top. That, Mr. Cree, yes, is sir. that your phone? No, the, sure. the, the other phone. That you're turning the volume, off, the volume of. off. You're going to get fired <laughs> from this <laughs> job if you cannot abide oh, by no. company <laughs> policy. I, I, now, will, I will never get fired because I sleep with the boss. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay, I have obviously stamped my piece for this so we don't have to take them today with it. I, um, but today I'm going, so I've already stamped it. I'm going to lay my die panel on top of it and die cut that, and then we are going to run it through the die cut machine. So this is your panel that we're going to attach to the top. And we're die cutting. Now I'm only going to run it through one time. And I even use 65 pound for this top because I did not want it breaking. There we go. There's our little fold, 
our folded piece that we're going to decorate. And we're going to make that first fold a valley and a mountain and a valley. So we can just kind of train the folds. There we go. Now this set has the smaller donuts in it. And when I designed this, I actually designed this so that you could actually get the six donuts up in a box because in the very beginning, I wanted to put six donuts in a box. So, um, but the great thing is you can use them on the inside of this card. So you can cut them in the colors that you desire and you can make the donuts appear in whatever form you want like we talked about the chocolate donut or the yeast donut. And if you know that someone has a favorite donut, you can cut their favorite donut. Tom, not too much of a donut fan, but he does love the apple fritter. Mm -hmm. So you do want to make sure when you put your donuts on here that you get them all the way on. I've got my donut down here hanging off a little bit, so I will have to use the powder tool on the back of that. And Mr. Creek's gonna have to look to see if we have the powder tool here. Mm -hmm. you, want, you want one? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need the powder tool. So the powder tool, that I'm referring to like do this every week. is the embossing buddy. And when you use, thank you, cool. the embossing buddy, it will detack your tape. So I do have a little bit of donut hanging off the end here. And when I die cut these, I die cut them with the super tacky tape on the back. Get this up here so you guys can see. And then I'm just going to go in and add my sprinkles. So the powder tool is a great tool to have in your stash because you can detack the tape. So you can decide how many donuts you want, what kind of donuts, and we're going to add our sprinkles. So, um, Interesting little tidbit of information. Are you ready for an interesting little tidbit of information? We um, took some pictures of Tom on the, on the dock at my son's house with the skinny dipping. I had an album blown up poster size. And um, Tom has uh, his swim trunks on. But but the um, the big poster is covering up his swim trunks, so it looks like he's swimming with his cowboy boots and his cowboy hat. And I uh, <clears throat> posted that um, picture in the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo group, and they haven't posted it. They haven't. No. So I don't know if they've decided <laughs> that it's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? So, yeah, I'm very serious. So, um, <laughs> if you're getting the email from the Great Yvonne American... said that picture was shocking. Kids are crap. Oh, Yvonne said it was shocking. Yvonne, did you see it? Did they post it? Is he blushing? No, he's not blushing. <laughs> so, um, I... If you're getting the newsletter from the Great American Scrapbook Convention, you'll see it, it's in the newsletter there, too. Um, I just haven't had the courage. Yes, they did post it. Okay, well, I didn't. I looked today, and I didn't see it. Um, just having some fun, because you know, if you're skinny dipping, you don't want to swim alone. That's right. Yep. Whoa! Are you giving away more stuff? I am. I am. <clears throat> There we go. Who you got? I, I got people. You who got a winner chicken if, dinner? If you've already won, I can't in the same show. I would have to do it again. Oh, okay. 
All righty. So we've got our, we're getting our sprinkles on our donuts here. Why don't you just go back to the, the, per, the last person that, that hasn't won? Okay. Now we've got our sprinkles on there, but like I said, I do have my donut hanging off. Now I will tell you when I die cut this stuff, I keep all this stuff in my die package and then my sprinkles are already cut and ready to go. So I'll just slip this back in with my dies and I'll have it all ready to go. And then I am going to turn this over. And do you see how my donut's sticking off a little bit right there? We're going to take the powder tool and just pounce that on there. And then there's powder in there. If you don't own the powder tool, we'll be happy to connect you with one. But you could also use a cotton ball and um, some powder. You know... All right, I Judy think, has a question. Judy, Judy has a question. And Sharon said, uh, Judy and Sharon ask, how do you cut those sprinkles without cutting through backing tape? Yes, good question. And now she wondered it too. Yeah, so when I um, when I run that through my die cut machine... Denise was wondering too. Everyone wonders. Everybody was wondering. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, let me put the card together, and then I'm going to pull the phone up, because I feel like I'm talking to the... I feel like I'm not acknowledging your presence. Okay, so we have our little insert done, and we're going to adhere that into our base, and he here's what you have. What do you have? You have a rounded corner over on the left. Rounded corner on the left. And a rounded corner over here on the right. So you're going to put a piece of tape on the two rounded sides. And if yours happen to be opposite, that's okay. You just want to match up your rounded corners. So we're just going to put tape on there. And really, this is a simple card to make once you know all the tricks. And line up that rounded corner of the card insert with the rounded corner of the mechanism. And that, we're going to tape that down. This and then so we're going to I tell you what. fold that up. And pop it open. Pop. Do that again. It makes me happy. Do that again. Wow. Pop. So that is the pop twist die. I'm going to pull the phone up. Any questions? Anybody, did you answer the question about... I'm going to pull the phone up to answer that question. I'm going to pull the phone up, so hang on. I'm coming up. Questions? Here we go. Questions. Can you see questions? Question. By the way, the discount code crafters is donut, D-O-N-U-T, for 15% off until May 31st. Hang on. I've got, first. I've got a funky thing Fire going here. First. So, when you die cut, if you're cutting with the Sizzix machine, which would mean... The big shot, the sidekick, the switch, the vagabond, the express, any of the Sizzix products. The switch. The switch. You have. Hold on, I'm getting my platforms. Hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Crash. <clears throat> this is how I die cut on a daily basis, okay? I have the magnetic platform. <clears throat> and the precision plate. The precision plate replaces one of the clears. So once you put the precision plate in your stack, in your sandwich, you're only replacing one clear. This I love, and I need a drink, so hold on. Or I'm going to start coughing. We can't cough. No coughing. No <laughs> coughing allowed. Mmm. So much better. Okay, so this is how I'm cutting. I do not use the magnetic platform because I like the magnetic platform for the magnetic part of it. I use it because it is ever so slightly tighter a stack. So this is my favorite stack. This is how I'm die cutting on a daily basis. When I went to cut tonight and when I went to cut the sprinkles, 
Bard Mitchell. <clears throat> Bard Mitchell just won. I changed my stack. So I went back to my standard cutting platform and my standard configuration because these, this is super tight. If I don't want it cutting all the way through that back liner, then I change out my platform and I use standard equipment with no upgrade. If you're not familiar, my camera's lurching on me. If you're not familiar, the precision base plate, that chrome looking thing, and the magnetic platform are both upgrades. They do not come with the machine. So you go back to your standard configuration, cut with your standard platforms, and then run it, run it through one time. So most of the time I'm cutting twice because I have a rule. And that rule is that I don't ever want my behind to leave the chair. Does anyone else have that rule? So most of the time I'm cutting, my history has been, I'm cutting with the Vagabond. Now I have the switch at home. I still have the Vagabond here in the studio at the shop because there's a shortage of machines. <clears throat> but I'm always cutting twice so I don't actually have to get up. But I'm only running one time through and then when I take my die out of the machine, <clears throat> When I take it out, pretend like this just came out of the die cut machine, I take it and hold it in my hand and take my pick tool. And if any, if I see any color still hanging in, I push those back down into the tape liner. And then I have the ability to keep my pieces in. Does that make sense? Any other questions? I can't really see the whole feed. So I know like when you're not working with the equipment all the time, it really gets confusing about all these platforms. And um, there, I, I just want to encourage you about this. To me, platforms are like tools. Sometimes I need a pick tool and sometimes I need a media stick. They do different things. And so you, you need to think about your platforms that way because the machine will operate in a totally different way by trading out those platforms. <clears throat> I will tell you that I have fallen in love with, if you have the switch, using the standard platform in the switch with the precision plate and one clear. So um, that's my favorite configuration that way. Any other questions? I do have something else to share with you tonight. But wait, there's more. Um, but does anybody have any other questions? <clears throat> um, I'm looking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my plates away. Hang on. So, you may have noticed that we have been working on the mini album with the mini albums, and I'm trying to go through all of the dies and um, shoot video with all of the dies. I'm gonna pull the camera up. So, I have at least two more video to shoot. I'm working on it. Barb wants the Autumn greeting circle stamp. Um, so, tonight I have to share with you this fun little project. This is um, the mini album, the Skinny Dippin' mini album. And um, this was made by Diane Morris. Lovely, lovely. And she has made this into a card holder because she's creative and awesome and wonderful. So I wanna share this with you. We'll be doing a um, album drive-through and put out a whole video on it. <clears throat> but when you open it up, now this is a pocket page album, which means it has five, 
pocket pages. So you, she took the spine die, added the pocket pages, and what she has created is this awesome place to keep greeting cards. Greeting cards can be stored in the pockets. December, January and December cards stored in the inside front and back covers of the album. February through November can be stored in the pocket pages right here. And then you can use the various flaps to hold stamps, birthdays, notes, favorite photos. So she has used the stitch rectangle die and the tab die to create these um, little pockets with the calendar on it. And these are the calendar tabs. Tom, did you see this? I saw them. You haven't even seen this. This is brilliant. So... This gives you the ability to keep this and change out the calendar every year. Every day. Every year. Every like year. every year, every change year. it out. Every and year. then you can put birthdays on the back or you can circle dates on the front. Like this is totally brilliant. She's used the um, medium weight acetate for each of the windows and the tab die for each of the tabs at the top. Okay. And she has here a place for addresses. So she has used the tiny block, I had to look, tiny block alphabet set to die cut the words. And she's die cut that with the um, super tacky tape on them. And then you have, because this is a pocket page album, you have the pocket where you can store cards. And then each of the pages Flaps. Oh, my phone is just going down. Hang on. I've got to pull the phone up. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So... Flaps and pages. Pages and flaps. Yes, a lot of work. And, um, but it's just absolutely beautiful. She's used the um, hex die here. Hold it so you can see it. To make that flap. Okay. And the inside pocket die has this uh, peak pocket. And so she's added the peak pockets here. This is um, the Full Boom Paper Collection, and I do not have it on the website yet because I haven't had a chance, but we will put the whole entire collection on the website for anybody interested. We are not offering um, the coupon code on the collection. Here she's got her postage stamps. Yes, Carmen, he really was wearing pants. <laughs> Oh, come on. It was supposed to be funny. I hope it didn't offend people. Oh, come on. How would it offend anybody? I, I didn't put the ones on where he's wrapped his leg around the pole on the dock and it looks like he's pole dancing. <laughs> In my cowboy boots. In his cowboy boots. Oh. So this is just another great way to um you, this is the flat pages so she's built the flaps in this with the flat pages die and then here is your um she's used inside pocket over here for postcards and another pocket december for um holding cards so sweet sweet project absolutely beautiful if you're coming to the show you can look at the show you can look at it on the show did she put that on the blog anywhere Sharon are you asking me that question I haven't done anything with this I just received it um, yesterday and I will be putting a we'll be doing a drive-through video on this and posting it I do also have a fall album that I'm posting I'll probably do that later tonight that Diane Wilcox made, and we have a drive-through video for that. So, um, 
Yes, Diane's saying all the flaps are held with magnets and we do have paper thin magnets on the website. Diane, do you know if you, do you remember if you use the small ones or the large ones? One of these today I looked at and I was like, I don't even see where she put the magnet. I couldn't even tell. So we'll do the whole, we'll do the, we'll do the drive through where you can actually um, do the whole thing. What's great about the way she's designed this is that you can pull the calendar out and the following year you can change out the calendar. So the book stays forever. It's just the calendar that changes. There we go. And um, cards she die cut with that Savannah, the new alphabet set. Any questions for, from anyone? If you're in the, is there anyone in the, Carmen, where are you from? What city are you from, Carmen? Green. Carmen's from Green. Green. If you're from Green, New York, give us a holler in the feed, um, because Carmen is up there and she does classes and stuff, and we can get you connected. And um, if you email me, if you, if you see this later, you can email me at creekbc at gmail.com. And I will connect you. If you're from Kentucky and you want to be connected, let me know. Because we have a teacher in Kentucky and we have a... Where is Diane Morse? Somewhere in northern Ohio. <clears throat> there we go. All right. I think we're good for tonight. Next week, we will be making the oh-so-amazing box... Donut card, which I'm most excited about teaching you how to make this. Ohio. So if you, is Tom doing a jig? Yes, he is doing a jig. Uh, so join us next Tuesday. We'll make the donut box card. I am probably have something else to share with you too. We'll see how that goes. And we thank you so much for joining us for the live, Mr. Creek is coming yes, over. Yes, we will see you next Tuesday. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We will see you next Tuesday. We enjoyed you ladies last week in Auburn, New York. We're going to enjoy you ladies next week in beautiful Orlando, Florida. Great. Thank you so much. Lord bless you all. God bless. Keep you. See ya.